Hey everyone, Tony here. Hope you are doing well. Hope your weekend is going well. It's Saturday, January 27th, and I want to talk about the Internet of Services blockchain project, also known as the iOS token. And um, since actually being added to Binance this past week, it saw a, a really big growth in, in market cap, uh, a lot of people investing in it. And uh, it in a 24-hour period, it moved a significant amount up the charts on, I think, CoinMarketCap and Binance and uh, the uh, LiveCoin Watch list as well. So I'm going to talk a bit about what I like about this project, what it is, and why it has potential. Something I do want to highlight, and if you guys recall, I made a video showing the list of things you should look for when investing in projects um, that... They should have an active social media. You should know who the founder is. You should be able to find these people on LinkedIn, um, the team as well. Um, so I really like on their Twitter, they are very active. They share photos of the team, of them working in their office. They were reached recently at uh, Blockchain Connect in San Francisco, the entire team uh, where their founder uh, spoke as well. So very active uh, social media account here. They so said they did a presentation. The founder is... G Jimmy Zong, hope I pronounced Hong, or I hope I pronounced that correctly. But um, yeah, guys, I, I really like this that they're very transparent and you know they're sharing news about moving up, trading trading volume. You know within that 24 hour period, I think was pretty significant. Um, and on their website, they have links to the team members' uh, LinkedIn profiles, which is really awesome you can go look at look these people up know who they are we'll talk a bit about the team a bit more later so what is the internet of services blockchain project um so this project uh is focused on creating a more efficient and scalable blockchain uh, for services the distinguishing aspect of the ios infrastructure lies in its goal to allow for faster and more secure payments across multiple decentralized and customizable service platforms so essentially they are trying to fill the niche of scalability which many of the current cryptos are having issues with for example bitcoin and ethereum uh, filling the void of next generation blockchain technology uh, will provide users with decentralized way way to exchange services and digital goods support for large scale dApps and with limitless users. So with online retail growing, right? We know we see brick and mortar locations closing for like uh, Sears and Macy's and things like that. And online is where retail is moving to the majority of it. Um, they're looking to meet that need. Uh, and, and their solution is we can scale, we can create the e ecosystem where you know, Ethereum is so divided among different things um, that it, it's having scalability issue. So according to their white paper, and I suggest you guys read the white paper, um, they can do 100,000 secure transactions per second, which is huge. Uh, so their vision of creating a more scalable and available blockchain possessing mass pra pra practical applications began in 2017. So it was a project that launched in 2017. And They've expanded to specifically target virtual goods and services marketplaces, cloud computing, file storage, e-commerce, online gaming, gambling, prediction markets, online advertising, and very and, and every major field under the sky pretty much. So they're going after a lot online. Um, and to give you a bit of the, the cutting edge technologies behind this project and and what makes makes them a bit different? The first is uh, EDS, efficient distributed sharding. The second is proof of be, uh, believability. The other is hyper universe distributed system, and the other is fair and transparent feedback system. So each of these technologies play an in integrated role in forming the stable backbone for feasible and safeguarded transaction possibilities. One of the most exciting capabilities of the of iOS is its capacity enabled by EDS, which is the efficient distributed sharding to process large, large volume of transactions securely and fast. Instead of having the entire network to verify all transactions, the iOS blockchain divides all nodes into smaller pieces called shard, which allow the network to process transactions in parallel. So one of the things they say is that Ethereum is trying to do too much and that is why it's not scalable where ios is solely focused on services and is scalable and flexible so it it can be more efficient than ethereum 
So I highly recommend guys that you got uh, read through the white paper on their website as well as their uh, they have here a primer, just a kind of a, a draft of overview of the company, which includes a roadmap, which I just briefly uh, showed here. And it's a solid roadmap. It looks good. It looks realistic. So I highly recommend you guys look through this. Um, now, going back to their team. So their team is made up of a lot of folks with some very strong academic backgrounds. So you have a mix of talent from like top universities such as Harvard, Princeton, Stanford, and so forth. Um, there's also a mixture of folks with backgrounds from Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, and some former Google engineers. So here's what they said um, as far as their motivation for the project. We are frustrated that most blockchain technologies are limited by their technical designs. In general, large fees and limited computational capacity prevent widespread blockchain adoption. So they're really looking to fill that gap. Now, as far as funding, they raise 35,000 in Ethereum, which is the equivalent of 40 million uh, USD in funding. And it looks like I have a misspelling here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and they have some established investors. So this is one of the points that, uh, once again, I'm looking at the team who's invested in it, um, who's backing it and so forth. Now they have quite a few folks here who invested in it. The one I know about that is a trusted, um, or reputable is Sequoia. So I've heard of them. I know, of, I know of them and, uh, they raised, uh, let's see here just to confirm. Okay. So it's Sequoia, China and max matrix partners, China. Um, so those are the, some of the folks that are backing them, but I know of Sequoia, China. Um, so they got some pretty strong backing. Um, and it, as far as token, there's, there's 21 billion max supply. Um, it's available for purchase on Binance as mentioned. And, uh, my price prediction as far as what this could potentially reach by the end of 2018 is around $2. Uh, but I do see potential in this project guys, because as mentioned, these current uh, crypto such as Ethereum and Bitcoin and so forth are having scalability issues and they have their other issues like Bitcoin is now trying to get on Lightning Network to improve speed and so forth and the amount of transactions it can process per second. So I think this project has potential. It's third generation uh, blockchain project and uh, I, I like what I'm seeing so far from the team. I like that they're very transparent on social media. They're they're telling us who's you know on their team, what's going on. They're speaking at conferences. Uh, we can readily identify the C, uh, the founder and CEO. The t we we can readily identify the team. We can look these folks up on on LinkedIn and so forth. Um, I'm as mentioned. I'm I'm holding some of the iOS tokens. I bought some uh, because at this point the price point is very low risk, uh, so I'm not too concerned. But as always, you know, I'm not giving you financial or investment advice. I'm just giving you my opinion. You should make your own informed decision, do your own research. But I think this this uh, project has potential and it's it's really a hot topic in China right now as because of a lot of the the folks, the investors are located in China. Um, one other item I really like, guys, um, and I thought that was very, very cool what they did and very trustworthy. They said here, note our institution only private token sale has been completed. No public sale will be held. Investors in China, USA, and Korea were not allowed. So they did a private ICO, which um, I thought, it, which, you know, they weren't putting themselves out there just trying to make money or something like that. So I thought, I thought that was pretty cool. So be sure to check out the website. I'm going to leave a link in the description section read the primer draft, read the technical white paper, look up the team, um, you know, check out their LinkedIn profiles, which is linked here. Uh, check out their Twitter profile as well, guys, um, which has a lot of the recent news. They have like 112,000 people following them on Twitter. So they're, 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 they got some momentum going here. And once again, they're, they're not hiding in some closet or somewhere. These, it looks like they're a solid team looking to actually build a real business and solve real world real world problems. So, um, just wanted to highlight this to you guys. Uh, as mentioned, this is a project I, I'm I'm invested in, and well, I should I bought some tokens. I shouldn't say I'm invested in, but I bought some tokens, and uh, I'm always looking for you know these 
new generation blockchain projects which which have potential so have you guys heard about this you know what are your thoughts about this project leave your comments in the comment section below uh, if you like this video please thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos on cryptocurrencies i will talk to you guys later